Hello, everybody. So this is our lecture on creating an Android application where we will learn how to upload an image from our device to the Firebase server. OK, so let's first discuss what a Firebase server is. Firebase server is a you can say this is a service that is provided by Google uh, on the cloud where you get facilities like authentication uh, storage facilities and database facilities okay there are uh, there are other services like analytics etc that are also provided uh, by google so we will in this application actually learn how to upload an image from our device to a firebase storage service so for this we'll have to create an uh, application first so this is our project and i'll prefer to choose an empty activity and here i will give the name to my application and the name let's say is upload image firebase i think this is pretty descriptive and here i will choose api 14 ice cream sandwich because this will run for approximately 100 percent of the devices that uh, depends on your application to application so this is not an issue for me so i'll choose the uh, maximum support and then i will click on finish button so it will start a project there this is my main activity.java file i will come to it later but now i will go to activity main.xml file here i will get rid of this default text box and then <clears throat> first of all i will create an image view uh, I will drag it somewhere in between and I will center it to horizontally. Then I will, I would love to increase its size and then I will position it. I will set it vertical constraint and its ID is default image view. I have no issue with this and I think this is fine. Next, we will go to a button and I will place this button below this image view and I will set the horizontal constraint and vertical constraint for this button as well. After this, I will see its IDs button. I have no issue. Let's change the text for this button. And this button is actually to upload an image from my device to this image view. So I will write something like upload image view. I think this is pretty descriptive and then I will go to the on click attribute for this button and here I will name a function like upload image view so this function will be called upload image view when I will click on this button I will set another button just below this upload image view button and uh, its id is button too i have no issues i will set its vertical and horizontal constraints that center it horizontally and i'm interested in giving it a name some purposeful name so the name is uh, you can say upload upload uh, upload Firebase. So this button will essentially upload an image that is available in our image view to the Firebase server. So I will again call a function here. Let's call this function upload. Let's name this function as upload Firebase. Right. And I think this is all clear from my side then i will go to main activity.java file and here i will create an image view and will name it reference as image view and inside my own create function i will go to image view equals to find view by id r dot id dot image view so the next step that I want to do is on clicking that function, the, on clicking that button, uh, 
upload image the image should be uploaded in my image view so for this i will create a function public void upload image view 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 and then i will write our intent so in this case the intent will be intent intent equals to new intent i'm not going to discuss what are these parameters if you want to gain some more knowledge what i should put inside the intent then you should watch another video that is now flashing on the right top corner of your screen so new intent intent dot action underscore pick and then there is a second parameter this is called media store dot images dot media dot external underscore content underscore uri the second step would be start activity for result and i will pass my intent that i have created as the first parameter and some request code in this case i will pass this as one so after the start activity for result is created i will have to create another function on activity result so this is an overridden function and is available and is made available by my android, by android studio by default so then i will go to checking key if this request code result code and intent data they are available or not so first i will check about the request code if request code equals to equals to the name the code that i have given in the previous upload image view function inside my set activity for result so one so if request code equals to equals to one and result code equals to equals to result underscore okay so that means is everything was, is okay or not and this guy data this should not be equals to null only then only then create a uri selected image equals to so if these things are all okay then create a variable a reference variable selected image where i will store which image was selected by the user okay inside the image picking activity so uri selected image equals to i will use data dot get data as a next step i'm going to create bitmap object bitmap bitmap equals to the same uh, statement that i have written earlier here media store dot images dot media so media store dot images dot media dot the second function get bitmap and this takes content resolver as its first parameter so get content resolver and the second parameter is the uri and i have already created this uri with the name selected image so i will put this selected image over here and this cat bitmap is showing some error so this is asking me to surround this text around try catch so i have done this so after this what i will do i will call image view dot set image bitmap and i will pass the bitmap object that i have already created so this is all done from my side so i think it's time to first check this application whether it is working fine or not if it is working fine only then we will move to our next step so gridle invocation is finished oh upload image firebase i think this is looking good so let's try and upload an image in the image view so when i click on the upload image view so this activity is made available to me 
by my application and when i click selected that image you see my image view is uploaded so things are going pretty fine up to this mark so let's go ahead now it's time to upload this uh, image that i have selected and is available in my image view to the firebase so for this i have created this second button upload firebase so what should happen when i click on this upload firebase button this image from here should go and store in my firebase storage okay so for this let's first go to the firebase storage and see how to work with firebase storage so i will go to uh, my browser of my choice and there i will type firebase and here it will open firebase.com for me and i am clicking over here what happens okay so this is my welcome screen and because i have already logged in so it's there you should uh, you should be logged in with your google account and once you are welcomed with this screen you should go to you should click go to console so i'm clicking go to console and you will see i am there on my firebase account so here what i need to do is i need to add a project so these are some other projects that ha that i have already created so here you will create an add project and here you have to give your project a name so i would like to give this project let's say this is firebase project so i will need to give a name let's call it using storage okay and then i will click continue and it will ask me do you want to enable google analytics i am not interested in it as of now so i will dis uh, disable it and will click on create project so this google firebase is now creating a project for me it may take a, a minute or a couple of minutes depending upon your inter internet speed so you can till the time you can just sit back and relax so this is pretty an important lecture if you already don't know how to work with google storage or you are not familiar with google firebase so i think it is done i will click on continue and you will see this is the screen there so here on our left panel you can see there is authentication for this is for developers okay so there is an authentication services there is database service there is storage service there is hosting service and etc so in this particular example we will essentially work on storage but but before we'll go to storage we will go to this project overview and uh, do some preliminary preliminary work so that my application is ready to work with firebase so i will click on this uh, project overview and so this screen is there and you can see we have a message get started by adding firebase to your app ios android web so i want to work on android and i will click on android and here it will ask me uh, to register my package name so what is my package name my package name is com.example.uploadimagefirebase so i will copy it from here i will paste it here now it is asking me to give a nickname to my app and i am interested in giving a name a simple name like image upload you you uh, you do not need to give different names to the image each time it asks you can give the same name but i'm just showing it that we can uh, also give different names whenever it requires so i'm now going to register this app and this means that my app should be registered now the second step is download config file so i will click on this download google services json and you will see ki it has downloaded a file google services dot uh, json one because i have already downloaded it earlier so it has renamed it with a one so actually what i need to do i will delete this older file and will rename this file to google services dot json okay you need to do it because your uh, project will look for this google services dot json and if it finds google services one dot json then it will not work so be very 
make sure that you have renamed it. Then you will go to your project and there inside, let's say, project, you will go to your app and here you will paste this Google services.json file. Okay. Now I will go back again to my Android view. And here you will click next. And now it is asking you key at your project level build.gradle. You should add this class path into your dependencies. Okay, so I will copy it. We'll go to my project and here inside Gradle scripts, I will look for build.gradle project level build.gradle and here inside this dependencies, I will paste that line that I have copied from there. And whenever you make a change into Gradle file, don't forget to click on sync now. Okay. So I will go back to my Firebase and here they are asking me to add two more files, two more lines to application level build.gradle. So I think this line is already there in my uh, build.gradle file. So I will copy this com.google.gms.google services and I have to uh, write this line just after uh, apply plugin com Android application. So I will copy this line and we'll go to my project and this time in application level build.gradle and the second one is my application level build.gradle and here just after this line apply plugin com android application i will paste apply plugin com.google.services and as as i already have said that when you uh, when you ever make a change in your uh, gradle file don't forget to click sync now so once you are done this, let's go back to our Firebase. And uh, here, there is an option to go to Docs. Okay, so let's come back. And from here, let's click on Go to Docs. These guys have a very good documentation. So it helps us a lot. So now you see, they are asking us key on which type of platform are we making our application. So we are making it on Android. There is support for web applications, iOS, C++. So I will click on get started for Android. So when I done this. So this is a pretty good documentation. I advise you go through it so this guy is asking to your module gradle file add the dependencies for the firebase products so i think i should directly go to mm -hmm. where should i go this is the android analytics develop authentication storage okay so i am interested in storage part and in storage i will go to android and here get started is a good way to start so when you are there they will there is a good documentation you can look upon and there they ask me add the cloud storage for firebase sdk to your app so this is the line and i have to add this line in my application level build.gradle so this essentially is a kind of integration with firebase storage so i will copy this and will go to my android and here application level build.gradle so this is that and here i think inside dependencies i will go and paste implementation com google 19.1.1 and i will click on sync now okay so what is required then then they ask me to add this line the first step in accessing your storage bucket is to create an instance of so this is a very essential line as they say the first step so i will copy this this is getting me an instance on the storage so i'm i have copied it and will go back to my application 
there inside main activity dot java and write it after the image view right after the image view i will create firebase storage uh, firebase storage reference and here i will click on alt enter so these classes are already imported for me by my android studio and then what i need to do i will go back to documentation and they say multiple storage bucket working so i'll go back to check on the left pane they say something about upload files so i will go to upload files because i want to upload an image file to the uh, firebase storage so here i will go and serve some upload from data in memory so here you see they are uploading some image okay so i think this code is of interest so i will copy this code and will go back to my application and here you as you see that there is upload image view i will have to create another function that i have selected for the second button which was called upload firebase and the name of this function was mm, upload firebase so i will go and write another function public void upload firebase view view okay and here i will paste that code so you see there are a lot of errors so i will remove those errors one by one by importing the related relevant classes so i will click on alt enter i will click again on alt enter i will click on alt enter i will click on failure listener i will click on non null on success listener okay so every error is gone except mountains ref so what is this mountains ref we will deal it with in a minute so here we see we have already created firebase storage object storage so what i am going to do now i will create a i will create a firebase storage reference storage reference image reference image ref equals to the firebase storage reference that i have created earlier i will call it storage dot get reference okay and then in the next line i will write image ref dot or i can write it in the same line storage dot get reference dot what essentially is the meaning of storage dot get reference is that once you get a hold of storage dot get reference you will instantly get an access to here here so when i will upload an image from my application this image will uploaded and you can see it right over here so i can upload a file by directly uh, inside uh, the firebase by clicking on this button but i can do it also through my application so what i'm doing now i'm doing this same upload file function through my application so now when i have access to get reference so i will call a method dot get child and here i will pass something called images so what is this dot child images when i say dot child images this means that uh, here a folder will be created a directory will be created with the name images okay and then i will put a dot and again i will call child and here i will pass the name of my image that i want to upload okay so there should be some name that i should give to this image but you you have an option to create those names randomly okay so for this what you need to do is you will have to create a, uh, a string over here 
the name of the string is image name and you can initialize it to null or oh, sorry uh, empty string and then inside and then inside this on create function you can assign a random name to this string and for this we have an option called uuid class and with uuid class there is a static function called random uuid that gives you a random number a random you not exactly number a random string and you have to convert that string which is not in a string format to a string using two string method so uuid dot random uuid dot two string this is my image name and i will pass this image name inside this child function image name okay and now what is this mountain ref mountain ref i will replace this mountains ref with this image ref that i have created image ref okay so i think i have done everything from my side and it is time to check and i see the image is uploaded oh sorry the application is installed and here is my application now i will upload an image and you see the image is uploaded and when i uh, should click on upload firebase button it should upload the image on the firebase but let's see if there is an error or it goes smoothly so for this i will have to check my run and you see there is some error and it says that permission denied could not perform this operation so let's understand why this error is there this error is there because there is something called rules in firebase okay when i click on rules i will see this image of a dog this is actually a watchdog so these rules are actually a watchdog for this firebase project where they will see uh, when a user want to access this storage whether that guy has permission or not so this is the rule language here you see that by default these rules have these rules say that there is a there is a read and write permission only to the authenticated users but as of now in this application i don't have any authenticated user i have not created this an uh, authenticated app so what i will do i will delete this and i will update these rules like this and i will publish these rules okay so when i click on publish i see that rules are published now i will go back to my files and will check whether this time this application is uploaded or not so i will click on upload firebase button and will check for any error i think there is no error coming so i will go back to my firebase and i will click on reload and let's cross our fingers and see something happens or not images folder yeah images folder is created and when i click on images folder i see that there is an image with with some random string as the name and when i click on image let's see boom yes so our image gets uploaded on the firebase storage so i hope you guys have understood this application you now understand the concept how to upload an image from our device to the image view and then from image view to the firebase server so if you have any question you can write it as a comment or if you have any issue with this video you want to you want me to make some uh, same video in a different way you can also comment it out so thank you for watching this video